Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're going to take a look into Libra's week ahead for August 3rd through the 9th. In this message we are first going to tap into the energies with the Psychic Tarot deck here. Then we will get an overview message with the Fairy Tarot, like a little bit deeper with the traditional deck. I'll clarify as well as pull a few oracle cards. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So Libra, let's see what we can see for you guys for August 3rd through the 9th. Please and thank you. Most important message here for Libra spirit. What does Libra need to see August 3rd through the 9th? Please keep in mind guys that the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And Libra, if you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe everyone's always welcome here and it does help set your intentions for future messages most important message here for libra spirit with this libra need to see august 3rd through the 9th please and thank you Whew. that was quick it just all happened at once we have disruption we have balance we have rejoice and celebration and foundation and achievement on the bottom of the deck disruption and balance these are both challenge channeling major arcana okay disruption is the tower balance is the temperance there's a situation that has ended I feel like this ending may have, it happened out of nowhere, okay? It may have came as a shock or um, I feel like the first thing that comes to mind is maybe a person who is losing their place. Um, but I do feel here you already have something else in place of that okay so it's like with all the stuff going on in the world i hate to it's not very fun being a tarot reader giving people information about endings but i have to say what i see um and the first thing that comes to mind is having to move having to move location see how they're looking at their new house right here and i feel like uh libra there's maybe something that you've learned you know maybe you kind of overspent when you got this last pl this last location that you were at and moving forward you maybe decided to um, lower your budget you know or not have as high of expectations so you weren't you know if anything happened you weren't up shit creek without a paddle i do feel like this ending whatever it is it could be losing your place or having to move it could be ending of a job ending of a relationship the tower moment is it's normally um something that comes as a shock but in this context i'm feeling it as it's something that's ending okay um i do feel like this ending is being divinely guided if you haven't found a place or haven't found something to replace whatever it is that you're losing you're going to be seeing something's going to be happening here this week that's going to cause you to feel relief it's gonna be like oh fuck. yes finally maybe it is the last minute okay that could be what the shock is here so let's take a deeper look let's 
see here. Most important message here for Libra spirit. What does Libra need to see? August 3rd through the 9th. Now, the main reason why these informa this information will come out in a reading is mainly just to prepare you, especially with Major Arcana. Um, those are cards that uh, pertain to situations that can't really be changed. Okay, those are that's going to happen no matter what. Sometimes there are situations where we have free will. Sometimes uh, fate will step in and steer our direction if we're not on the right path. We have the Princess of a Summer. We have the Seven of Summer. This is the Page of Cups and the Seven of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. my goodness king of spring is on the bottom of the deck there's definitely some um there's some illusions surrounding this ending okay somebody was dishonest uh within this situation within this dynamic trust the process here because there's going to be um, a new opportunity that's going to be more stable, more solid, more grounded for you, okay? So if this is in the context of a living situation, the place where you're going to be living next is going to be better suited, uh, more reasonably priced, you know, more ideal location, all of that stuff, okay? So just trust the process. If you haven't found that place yet, you will, okay? you will speak it into existence libra if you don't believe it you will you will trust the process i feel like there may have been something surrounding this place that wasn't very fun for you okay whether this was neighbors that were disrupting you um uh, maybe there was the rent kept going up or the water was leaking so you'd have to pay extra bills something along those lines this could have been part of the reason why you were trying to find a different place in the first place it's a very interesting reading libra so the nine of spring is on the bottom of the deck. This is the nine of wands. This talks about protecting, okay, protection. In this deck, it talks about protecting the fruits of your labor. In traditional tarot, the nine of wands is like being guarded. It is also being protected, okay, having your guard up. I feel like there may be a need to kind of maybe take pictures, honestly take pictures of the place before you leave okay make sure everything is up to par and then make sure you take pictures so they can't accuse you of anything just a recommendation
for some of you this very well could be a relationship okay and maybe you are having to move because of the person who you lived with continue to look continue to seek look for more information um, maybe even on social media you might find the information that you're looking for the information that you seek on how to move forward on, on that place to the new place to live what have you okay all right libra let's get into the reading i do feel like there's a definite ending here i also see a lot of you moving i feel like there's a move there's a move in location that that's coming through here for a lot of you, this could be really relationship related as well. Okay, trust the process here. I feel like this has been an ongoing process. You may have gone back and forth. Should you stay? Should you go? Maybe even ignoring warning signs here. And I feel like this week something's going to come forward that's just going to be the straw that broke the camel's back okay a lot of you this could have to deal with a marriage situation or wanting to get married okay um, wanting to have a stable commitment a solid foundation with a specific person for a lot of you you guys could have already been living together but maybe not fully committing or not taking it to that next level something was causing confusion here within this dynamic and i feel like libra you've had enough that's what i'm feeling here you've had enough you're you're done okay i will say this though libra i feel like that's a, a position that you've been in before in this dynamic okay the wheel of fortune is coming out twice so i do feel like things are turning okay things are starting to turn you're starting to come to the realization that this isn't ever gonna work out that whatever the case may be that this isn't a good location that this isn't a good position for you to be in moving forward moving forward now i do see a warning be practical in how you move forward okay also make sure you get closure so when you move forward when you make this decision just speak on it like hey uh this is what it is don't leave any loose ends I do feel like you may feel kind of tied to this person. Now, when the devil comes up, those ties are usually karmic ties. I will say that. Try to get grounded. Try to get back in tune with yourself. One thing that I always recommend clients do is really get clear on what it is that you truly want out of a relationship. What are the characteristics that your partner exudes? Are they tall, dark, and handsome? Maybe they're short and have long hair. Maybe this is a business person, somebody who's really good at business. Maybe you want, uh, if you're a male, maybe you want a housewife and a person who's able to cook is very important to you. If that is your thing, it's probably not a smart thing to go for somebody who's not able to cook, right? delegate do some more information look into this a little bit more look into what what you feel is truly going to make you happy because i feel like libra if you play this tape out for instance if this is a relationship you're walking away from and you're kind of having this conflicted energy of if i should walk away or not play this tape out this is a person you could see yourself with long term as it is right now as things are right now do you feel like you can take this to the next level with this person as they are 
not hoping for them to be a certain way in the future, but as they are. A lot of times people don't change, you know? They may alter their characteristics a little bit and there are times where people do make changes about themselves but ultimately core values and certain things about a person are like set in stone you can look it up scientifically proven let's get some clarification out here for you libra on this message again trust the process here i do feel like you are fed up but i will say i feel like you have been here before you've gone back and forth over this before this isn't the first time play the tape out clarify the two of wands with the sun card please please and thank you spirit There's a need for you to find something that's equal give and take, reciprocating each other's energy. One thing I will say that I've learned about myself is a lot of times when I personally was attracting certain types of partners, I had found that there was something within me of why I was attracting those people or why those were the people I was attracted to. And when the star card comes up here, the sun, I do feel like there is a need to kind of go within Libra and take a look at self, right? Um, What's your personality type? You know, uh, what are your core values? Those are all things that are very important that can dictate the direction of our lives and where we're going. Mm -hmm. This situation that you're leaving here, it's not easy for you. I feel like this is a long process, okay? For some of you, you guys could live with this person and having to move is a B, okay? For some of you, you are just ending a job or having to move from the location that you live. Like, for instance, a lot of people in Los Angeles are moving from Los Angeles. They weren't able to pay their rent this whole time and now with, at, in August, everything's coming due. Um, I seen a big thing on it online, you know? There's a lot of people that are leaving there. Um, definitely something that I could relate this reading to. Make sure your items, make sure everything's protected. Um, one thing I would recommend if you are moving from a bigger city like that, it might be smart to maybe put your items, your belongings, if you're having to put belongings in a storage, um, putting them in a smaller city. Okay, smaller cities are going to most likely have cheaper storage unit, cheaper parking lots, all those types of things. And there are several smaller cities outside of bigger cities like Los Angeles that have those, those same amenities. There is a need here to look into this, do some research, okay? Be practical with the pros and cons especially if you're having to budget and and pay attention to your finances more okay um, do so be strategic luck favors the prepared let's get a few cards out here Libra for your advice guidance moving forward I am going to do an extended version of this reading, guys. In the extended version, we'll take a look into where this is all headed. What are the next steps moving forward here? 
What is the outcome if the guidance is followed? Take a look at, um, we'll pull some oracle cards over there. We'll also pull the guidance cards for the blessing, the soul truth deck for the lesson. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining. Link is below in the description box. Six of Swords. That sacrifice. I don't know why the I feel like you're having I can I just feel it you're having to move you may even be having to move back to like your hometown or something like that back in with your parents maybe even which isn't a bad thing okay look at this as an opportunity for you to kind of to recalibrate right or get back in back to center refocus your goals refocus your vision the first card out was the king of pentacles in reverse so i do feel like this is a situation with surrounding money okay there is a need here to kind of budget i feel like go within and take some time to really get clear on what you have what's coming in what's going out what you can afford what you can't afford if you have to move in with a friend or a family member don't look at it as you're going backwards okay look at it as sometimes in life we need that time right to gather our thoughts to not have to worry about paying full rent and not have to worry about um the needs of another person when we're in a relationship if we have a full-time nine to five job you know um sometimes that's kind of a burden because especially nowadays it's not easy to get around it's not easy to do things it's not as easy to do things you know taking this time utilizing this time that you're having to move or live with your parents live with a friend live with a family member find a cheaper location um take this time to refocus you know uh recalibrate your vision i do feel like you may be like oh, i don't want to do that I don't want to have to move in with my mom or I don't want to have to live with this person. I don't want to have to go back to my hometown. Don't look at it like that because this isn't this isn't a forever thing. This isn't like you're going there and living forever. This is like the hermit is like taking that time to go within to refocus, to recalibrate, to get back to what it is that you truly desire in life. What's truly going to make you happy. So I would recommend at least for the month of August, utilize that time to go through a self-discovery process of yourself, right? Get back in tune with what you truly like, what you desire, what makes you happy and base your vision around that. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. The earth can be a tricky place, but you've been given a tool to help you navigate through the murky waters, your intuition. You must learn to tell the difference between ego talk and soul talk, and then trust your soul. Once you get into the habit of following your intuition, you will come to practice the discernment externally. You will be able to know if a person or a situation is trustworthy, but it all begins with listening to your inner voice. Exercise it like a muscle and when you determine that it is always right, that wisdom will spread out and influence everything that you do. Decisions will seem easier. Your soul only wants what's best for you. And you must learn to trust it.
again, Libra, I feel like you've been mulling over this decision for a while. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I end this? Should I leave? Should I move? This is the universe's nudge to say, trust yourself. If you guys are finding that this message was helpful, that it's resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated, and it does help with the growth of the channel. Thank you guys so much for that. You guys are all amazing. Everything I touch is a success. And now establish a new awareness of success. I know I can be as successful as I make up my mind to be. I move into the winning circle. Golden opportunities are everywhere for me. Prosperity of every kind is drawn to me. Everything I touch is a success, beautiful Libra. So Libra, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out here for you guys for this week. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version of this reading, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.